So this is how to create 3D movement in Unity with a working camera. First off, for visual representation, I'm going to create a ground. So let's create a 3D plane. Just call this ground. Just to make this a bit larger, I'll set this to 5 times 5 on the X and Z axis. Then I'm going to create a capsule. This will serve as our player. I will name it player. Just move it up a bit. Now to make it move, I will add a script. So into the player's inspector, add component, create a script called player movement. Now open up the script in Visual Studio. I will start out by deleting the start method. I won't be needing that. Now I'll create a few fields. First off, we need a speed variable. Most people would go like public speed, but this will make the speed visible to other objects and as they won't be needing that, this is actually considered bad practice. So what I will do instead is create a private float called speed. I'll set it to 5F for now. You can always change it later to your liking. Then I will go ahead and host square brackets right above the line and type in the square bracket serialized field. So this will make it visible in the editor without making it public to other objects. I will create another serialized field. This time I'll create a private float called mouse sensitivity this is for the camera to work and i will set this to 2f for now i'll create two final fields i will create a private vector 3 called move direction as in the direction which we want to move and then to finish off i will create a private float called rotation y so rotation on the y axis now here an update is where we want to handle our movement and handle our rotation but first i will create methods for this to make it more readable let's start by creating a method for handling our movement so i will call this private void handle movement inside the method Body, I will create a float called horizontal and this will be equal to input dot get axis horizontal and then another float called vertical which will be equal to input dot get axis vertical now why do I type horizontal and vertical why not type right left up down well if you go into the unity editor click edit and project settings in here you can see input manager and there's something called axes and there's horizontal and vertical this is to make the code more flexible as you can see it both works with the left right arrow the ad but also joysticks this will make it more flexible to create a game for both consoles and PC. If you change the name here, for instance, say banana, then you would have to go inside Visual Studio as well and type banana here. To finish off this method, we will need the move direction we created a field for, and this will be equal to a new vector free. So a position in the game world, we will need a horizontal for the X, then the Y value, we don't want to move up in the air. So here we'll just type 0F. And then for the C value, we'll use our vertical and we will use dot normalized to finish this off. This is because when you move either horizontally or vertically, you actually use inputs that will give the game a value. If you were to move in a diagonal direction, a horizontal and vertical input could combine to actually make you move faster in a diagonal direction. So we use normalized so that you move at a fixed speed, no matter if you're moving in a straight line or diagonally. Finally, we will make the object move by using transform.translate. So to change the position of the object, we will use our move directions times speed times time dot delta time. We're using time dot delta time to make it move at a fixed rate, no matter the hardware you're on. So if we were to use only move directions, direction times speed then it will move faster the more powerful your computer were as you can see the handle movement is grayed out this is because the method is not called yet so if you go into update handle movement now you can see it's more colorized we still need to handle our rotation so we'll create a new method called private void handle rotation inside the method body we'll create a new float called mouse x and this will be equal to input dot get access. If you can see the pattern from up here, yes, you guessed it. Here we will type mouse x, then we'll use the rotation variable we created, and we'll add the mouse x to this value times the mouse sensitivity. And then finally, just as we use transform dot translate, here we will use the transform dot. We need to rotate something. There's a thing called rotate, but we'll use the rotation equal to quaternion dot euler. These words can be a bit confusing, I know, but basically these handle the math around rotate an object and we use 0f we only want the y-axis so here we'll use the rotation y on the z-axis we'll again use 0f now make sure you save the script jump back into the editor now when we have a movement script what we want to do is use something called cinemachine to set up our camera so we go to window package manager make sure you're at the unity registry then up here search for cinemachine this button will say install if you haven't already added it to your project i have so it just says remove but just install cinemachine go back into the editor click game object up here and the drop down menu Cinema machine, targeted cameras, free look camera. Now, before we edit, notice here, this is the game view right now. So when we add our cinema machine camera, the free look camera, as you can see, it's already changed. So we need a few things to make it work properly. So it needs to track something. You can see it has a tracking target. What do we want to track? We want to track our player. So we'll take the player, drag in here to the tracking target. The camera changed again, as you can see. For my style, it's a bit too close to the players. So what I like to do, cinema machine, orbital follow, go into that, change the target offset. I'll lower the 
the C values to make it go further away from the player. I like more of a bird view that will raise the Y value, go a bit up. Our camera is actually set up now. Just before I press play and show the final product, I will add a few objects to my scene to make it more clear that we're actually moving around. So I'll just add those objects and come back. So I'm back now. I've just added a few cubes to my scene. So I'll press play and as you can see, I use the WASD keys to move around. Now I'll try move using the arrow keys works as well. As you can see, we are moving around on all axes. And if I use my mouse, move that around, it'll rotate the camera up, down and left and right. So that was how to create 3D player movement in Unity with a working camera. I hope this taught you something new and thank you for watching.